2,124 views. I'm calling people. I'm in shock. I, I just don't know what the hell to do. Hey, what's up? So this video just exploded on my channel and I have zero clue what the hell that means. So if you somehow managed to make it to the end of this video, just give me your thoughts and let me know what you think. Uh, with that being said, let's go. So today we rolled in the Inside the Villains t-shirt number three from Illustrata. Link in the description. I wanted to shoot this video outside, but it didn't got buku windy, so I guess we carved log in the day. Before we get into the reason why I'm even making this video this week, let me just start by saying, listen, I make videos. I make vlogs. I make these videos for the sole purpose of entertainment. Like I don't make these videos intentionally for views or subs or likes or nothing like that. If one person watch my video, then I'm good with that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing it for views. I just like the process of making videos, except editing. I don't really like editing. Having said that, a few weeks ago, I uploaded my last video. And for some reason, it just blew up out of nowhere. I don't know if it was the subject matter. I, like, I don't... Listen, people always say, oh, your title and thumbnail, you know, is the most important thing. I'm not even sure I really put that much thought into the title or thumbnail. I upload the video, and it gets the regular views like any other time. A few days later, I started noticing it's getting more views than my regular videos and listen them some good videos i'm not even sure if i even put too much thought into making this video i just thought it was a decent video to make when i uploaded this video i had 464 subscribers and i really hate saying subscribers because you know it's actual people watching and i don't know that's a, a moral thing i guess now I don't remember the day as of recording this right now. I don't remember the actual day that I uploaded the video, but at that time I had 464 subscribers. Now, I didn't start noticing nothing until I had a thousand views in like a week. And my videos don't do a thousand views in a week. I just don't make that type of content that gets views like that. Like YouTube is the long game, right? So I don't expect none of my videos to get that many views anyway. But the fact that this one for some reason had a thousand views in a week, I felt like it was something to pay attention to. I didn't really pay attention at the time when I uploaded, but a week's gone by and this video is at like a thousand views, right? But my sub count's going up too. I think I'm being punked. So I didn't really start paying attention to it until like my subscribers start going up. So what I did was I said, well, let me take and start documenting this process. So I'm gonna just walk you through the process real quick on when I noticed that something was going crazy or this video was going crazy on my on my channel. I opened up my YouTube studio. I look at my YouTube studio and at this point is 12 days, 2.1K views, 503 subscribers. Now remember, I had 464 when I uploaded this video. So now I'm at 503 subs, 2.1K views, and my total views is at 5.4K because that's for my whole channel. I go and I look at my TubeBuddy because I use TubeBuddy for the count. And it's a little bit behind, but it saved 503, 503 subs. Yeah, 503 subs on my TubeBuddy. But then I go and I look at, hold on. I go and I look again, it's 505 subs, but it's 453 views, 39 comments, 72 likes, and two dislikes. Look, the more popular your video get, the more dislikes your video gonna get. It could be a puppy crying, somebody gonna dislike it. That's just how it go. Then I go, because again, I'm using two, but now my subs going up to 506. You hit a milestone at 500 subs, 
on December 2nd. That's when I really kind of started paying attention. December 2nd, five, 464 subs, 2.1K views, 506 um, subs now. And then I said, well, let me look at this again. So what I did was I just started screen recording the whole thing. And then this is the process on how it started. 527 on um, on my YouTube analytics. Then you can see that the views at that point, 2,124 views. And my uh, video before that had got three extra views. So now I'm at 4.8 thousand views, 527 subs, I have zero clue what the hell is happening. I'm, you know, guessing that, you know, the, the algorithm caught it some kind of way. But still, I don't know what's what's happening. So I start calling people. I'm like, dog, what this mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's happening? What's happening? Then I go at, not that one. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I go and I look at another one at my, um, my YouTube studio is at 5.2K. So now it's... You know, the views going up, right? And I'm like, what is happening? Like, what what happened? Listen, that's more views than all of my videos. Together, I think, if you put them all together. And for some reason, this one just shoots straight up, right? Now, I'm looking at 559 subs. 559. Now the video is at 10K. 10K views on one video. Oh shit, not on one video, on one of my videos. I I again I have no idea what's going on. Then after that, I get an email. Hi leader one from YouTube. Uh way to go. You're now eligible to apply to the YouTube Partner Program. This is part one, by the way, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, so you can continue to build deeper connections with fans, earn money from fan funding, and get the tools, <clears throat> excuse me, the tools and help you, uh, the tools and the help you need to succeed. My bad, sorry. Apply now. If accepted, uh, you'll, access, you'll have access to Earning features like channel memberships, super thanks, super chat, super stickers, and promoting your own products through select YouTube um, shopping features. Again, this is just part one of the YouTube partner program. So basically, you still need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours in order to uh, fully be a part of the YouTube partner program. Let me come out of this. So at this point i have no clue what's going on like i said i'm calling people i'm saying say bro listen that last video is you know is doing numbers what am i supposed to do like what what does that mean they don't know i'm just in shock right i'm in shock i, I just don't know what the hell to do i'm freaking out i'm thinking right in my head you know how these bots been running rampant through youtube right and i'm like bots just running up you know running up my numbers but here's the thing i'm getting more comments more comments on it so i'm like well shit all of them can't be bots i guess the subject matter is just like hey you're getting a lot of comments on this video i'm thinking maybe youtube's probably gonna think i'm doing something and they're just gonna strip all this away now i know i say i don't care about views and subs but if you get that many views and subs at one time and suddenly it's taken away you might care a little bit <laughs> fast forward to today the time of shooting when i look at my analytics now if i go into youtube studio today as of recording this video that video is at 16k views the channel's at 19.6k the sub count is at 597. Now remember, I started at 464 subs when I uploaded this video and now it's at 597. One, thank y'all to everybody who watched that video and like went to subscribe, you know, probably because of that video. Thank you. 
But this is what I want to look at though too. So on the analytics side, because that's important. You got to pay attention to the analytics, which I normally don't. But for some reason, this kind of boost in numbers just have me in a different headspace for some reason. So 19.6K views is 15.7K more than usual, obviously. If you go to watch time, it's at 1.1K. It's 900 more than usual. Subscribers, plus 125 subscribers. What the hell? Here's the thing. It's not uncommon for somebody to get a boost on their videos and a boost in their channel and then take a big dip all the way back down. I've seen that happen. I'm 100% positive it's going to happen to me simply because, one, I'm not a weed channel. So my entire channel is not going to be focused on weed. So I'm going to just apologize in advance for everybody that came to my channel for we now the best i can do really is you know maybe do a haul every you know two months or something like that but my content is everyone i just try to make videos for everybody and that's why my you know channel is on slow growth again i'm i'm okay with that i'm not out here for views i'm not out here for subs i'm not trying to blow up you know what i'm saying that was totally unintended right there but I'm glad it happened because now I have a different perspective on, you know, if I decide to take this to the next level or not. But my biggest question is, how the hell do I follow that? You know what I'm saying? I am not going to be able to follow that. I can't follow that. I'm one. I'm not going to try. But this is why I ask, hey, what's your opinion? Because maybe you have some insights. Maybe you're a larger creator or a smaller creator that experienced something like this before or on your channel so if you can lend a brother an ear i'm all ears man so that's gonna be it for me today leave a like on the video share it with your friends for a second opinion if you didn't like the video hit the thumbs down button twice i'm out